allowed to experience the tasting of uh, some of the Kenyan wines. Now, Argentina is a very large country that stretches from the temperate region in the north all the way down to the taiga or the coniferous region down south. Yet, the wine producing regions are very large. We have different types of Argentinian native wines, including Paul Jimenez and the Torrantes. Now the Torrantes is more popular of the two because Torrantes gets exported over to Switzerland, France, and Germany, besides other Latin American countries. Yeah, Latin American countries also export a lot of wines to continental kind of Western Europe, but they don't export as many to the United States or England. Nonetheless, the Torrantes has a beautiful taste. If you truly taste it, you get the hint of apricot, citrus, citrus, and peaches. Blended with some gardenia rose and lilacs put together. Usually people pair the Torrantes with Argentinian cuisines as well as French and Northern Italian entrees. Even Swiss sausages are really good complements to this wine. Yet very few have considered about how to pair this with desserts or patisseries. <laughs> Swiss chocolate turns out to be a real good dessert to go along with this, Torrantes. The Switzerland's chocolate is very rich as well as nutritious. Swiss people process chocolates through whole retention methods. So in essence, they process coca the way it is. So as a result, you retain the nutrients. Now, that definitely is very healthy because dark chocolate is much preferred in Switzerland versus milk chocolates, even though they still consume a lot of milk chocolates. Milk chocolates are still made from natural milk as opposed to many additives that we find in chocolates made from America or England. Nonetheless, uh, Swiss people do add the cacao as well as other fruity flavors to the dark chocolates, yet they savor dark chocolates by themselves. Cacao tastes like vanilla, it is found in sherbets, ice creams, and various types of patisseries, including cakes. Copaco comes from tropical Brazil and the Amazonas state of Brazil. Now in that tropical region, people utilize the copaco to not only produce food or patisseries, but also extract some of the plants, compounds, to produce shampoos and soaps. Many of these are excellent female hygiene, which are really good for the skin of young adult ladies. So in contrast to so many other types of uh, commercial hygiene products found in the United States or England, these Kupaka extracts are friendly to the overall well-being of the body and to the skin as well as protective work. So as a result, people enjoy using these types of uh, natural products. I find a lot of that in Egli, which is in Bern, as well as in Zurich, when I've looked at these soap products. Nonetheless though, Kubakao can be used to enrich the chocolate flavors. What about apricots and uh, oranges as well as peaches? The Swiss people would get the juices of peaches, apricots, as well as apples. Then they would use those directly and fuse it into the dark chocolates. So as a result, nothing's really lost at all in contrast to so many artificial sweeteners and additives that we find in commercial chocolates found in the U.S. as well as England. England. So in any case, the pairing of wine and chocolate has been explored Yet, people have the notion that you mostly will have to use red wines instead of white wines. Torontes actually turns out to be a really good partner for the Swiss dark chocolates. The mellow but strong flavor 
of the parantes can truly bring out the fruity flavor, which then brings itself onto the Swiss chocolates, mild but strong flavor. So as a result, even though it is a strong wine, it is not nearly as powerful as, say, the Malbec would be. For Malbec, you probably would need black forest cakes and patisseries. We all should probably take some time to enjoy this. God gives us wonderful gifts. Everybody has different sets of talents. But the Argentinians have been able to produce wines, whereas the Swiss have perfected in chocolate production. <laughs> well, the healthy ones. Well, the Swiss uh, Germans, in terms of the young adults nowadays, ages 22 to 29 years of age, have migrated mostly to Argentina as well as to Colombia for extra opportunities for work. Nevertheless, uh, there was a lot of connections between South America and Swiss Germans. Perhaps we can have the time to enjoy it. This can symbolize the sacrificial blood and the sacrifice of Christ for us at Calvary in the subsequent resurrection. This here on the Swiss chocolate would symbolize God in the body of Jesus. So Amen. I wait for having this uh, Sunday communion <laughs> to enjoy the celebration, heartfelt celebration of Jesus Christ's crucifixion and resurrection. We can have it now, right here. Amen, hallelujah. <laughs> Calvary, Can we help you serve Albert? Yes, thank you. This is the body. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, it's a game work for everyone.